Welcome to the Advanced Mandela video on searching using magnets. I've loaded up the play Romeo and Juliet, which as you see has 840 speeches. I'm going to start with a free text search on the word Romeo. You can see his name appears 248 times in the play. I'll add a new magnet. This time I'm going to constrain myself by a tag. So I'm going to look for all the instances where the word Romeo appears in someone's speech. And you can see that there are 90 instances of those. I'll add a third magnet, and this time constrain not just by the tag, but by the tag and its attribute. So in this case, now I'm going to get all of the instances where it's Romeo who is the speaker. And you can see that there are 163 of those. So that's three different ways of uh, finding out what's involved in the play around the word uh, Romeo. We have this little subset here that uh, consists of all three, where Romeo mentions his own name in a speech that he gives. We also have the opportunity to clear out uh, all of these magnets and uh, look at some of the other possibilities that exist uh, in the uh, pick lists. In this case, I'm going to say, give me the list of all of the speakers and give me all the terms that are available. So these are now all the values of uh, the tag speech with the attribute speaker. When I click on that, it gives me this warning, you're about to create 30 through magnets. I'm going to say yes. And what I get is one magnet for each speaker in the play. So there's uh, a whole range of different uh, people speaking, 33 in total. Alternatively, I can clear that out and ask for one magnet that contains all the possible values. So if something has been included as a, as a uh, speech speaker attribute, this should now provide me uh, with all of those. You can see that it's been done a little bit uh, kludgy. We basically see if there's a character inside the uh, inside the attribute. And in this case, it consists of all 840 uh, speeches have a, a speaker value. Finally, the last thing that I can do, I'm going to clear this magnet again, and I'm going to click this randomize button. What it does is searches through the XML and uh, randomly assigns uh, some magnets and some values. So that's a way of sort of potentially finding some patterns that might be of, of possible interest. Clicking it repeatedly produces a variety of different uh, configurations.